Toilet HQ is still the hardest map in the entire game, with only 0.1% of people actually being able to beat it. And if you queue up with a random team, you have no idea what they're gonna do. So today, I have probably the best strategy ever. I am going to be playing on an alt account and my main account at the same time, but I've actually got some pretty decent stuff on my alt account, so I think it's time to queue into a match. So starting out with my alt account, we gotta put that ninja cameraman down. We should definitely start in the middle, because we'll have the most cover when we max it out. And on my main, I'm gonna get a camera helicopter right here. It's kind of weird going back and forth to record my streams, but I'm gonna start with scientist cameraman on both accounts. Essentially, we have the power of using 10 units, so I'm gonna put some more scientists down. Ooh, my alt account isn't doing too well. We need to upgrade the ninja cameraman right now, because the glasses toilets are already here. They have a lot of health. Oh, uh, we just got the first one, and I'd say we definitely need some more assistance, so I'm gonna skip the wave, upgrade the camera helicopter. And it looks like the cameraman's gonna take care of the glasses toilet. Well, hopefully that works out. I'm gonna upgrade the ninja cameraman again. But this time we have four glasses toilets, so maybe I should get a jetpack cameraman or something. Yeah, I think it's time to skip because the boss is actually gonna be this wave, so the jetpack would totally be worth it. We're gonna put him right here. And my ult's gonna upgrade the ninja cameraman again. You can afford that jetpack upgrade. All right, how fast can we beat the boss toilet? This is, this always tells if you're gonna actually win the game or not. If your team can't get the boss boss toilet in a reasonable amount of time, it's probably gonna be over. Oh, wow, we are not struggling at all with the boss toilet. It is already gone. <laughs> I got all four scientists on both accounts. Max out the ninja cameraman right here. And for the buzzsaw toilet wave, we're gonna use the secret agent, just in case. I don't wanna risk it passing. He starts out with 100k damage, so that'll definitely be enough. And for all the random weird stuff on my alt account, we're gonna be putting down a TV woman right here to slow them down, and even upgrade it a little bit, then upgrade scientist cameraman more. Alright, this is the buzzsaw toilet and three boss toilets wave. I guarantee the buzzsaw toilet is gonna make it back there. If it doesn't, well, that's, that's good anyways, because that means we did a ton of damage. So I have a thousand. I'm gonna upgrade the jetpack guy again. Buzzsaw toilet actually stunned the ninja cameraman. I forgot about that. Oh wow, the secret agent got him at like 8k health. We would have been fine probably. Upgrading camera helicopter again so we can get that large cameraman from it. And I'm gonna start this giving because I want to see how fast we can actually win. I want to make the jetpack guy even stronger for bosses, so we're gonna get 1,500 upgrade now. And on my alt, just to slow things down even more, I'm gonna get another TV woman right here and upgrade it. And another ninja cameraman right here just to slow things down even more and we can max it out. Let's go. Because we can put so many more troops and if I was just on one account, I'm gonna even put a TV woman right here and upgrade it twice so that we can take out, make like a lot of things much slower. This is working pretty well. Even though I skipped when there were a whole bunch of boss toilets, the vacuum toilets are here. But I don't really know if we do enough DPS yet. I kind of want to max out the jetpack cameraman so he does 10k DPS. But if one gets past that, it should not be a problem for the secret agent. Because, like, again, he has 100k. Okay, we're definitely getting the vacuum right now, but the dual blade toilet might make it past. Okay, never mind. He didn't. We're still completely fine. I'm going to continue skipping. And we need to do a bit more damage, so I think I'll max out the camera helicopter now. I have no money on my main, but now on my ult, I can put yet another maxed out ninja cameraman. And later, we're going to put the Titan TV man. Actually, I kind of want to invest in one right now, but I still gotta max out these guys. Two buzzsaw toilets. We already got one, and there goes the second one. This is so easy now. Bro, playing on two accounts at the same time actually is the strat. I'm gonna place and max out another camera helicopter. Honestly, I should have used a mech cameraman instead of the titan. I'm probably only gonna be putting the jetpack cameraman for DPS, so like... Anyways, I'm gonna max out the jetpack cameraman just in case. And let's see how fast we can get the UFO toilet. It is already half health. Okay, Okay, this is really OP. We have no problem with this at all. And I think it's time to improve DPS on my main. We're going to upgrade. Actually, we're going to place another jetpack cameraman and just try to max him out. Now it's time for a third jetpack and to max him out. My all account has 7k, so I'm going to upgrade this Titan TV man as much as I can. Ooh, this is the one with two UFO toilets, but we have three jetpack cameramen. One of them is not maxed out yet, though. This would be so much more OP if I had the mech equipped, but like still, we got the second UFO before it could even turn right here. Now I'm gonna work on maxing out a fourth jetpack, and now the Titan TV man is maxed out. I finally finished maxing out all scientists on both accounts, and we're at wave 30 with zero problems. Now I do need to get my DPS up, because some hard waves are coming up soon. So I'm just gonna focus on putting more jetpack cameramen, and maybe like on my alt, some more Titan TV men, because I do have 18,000 on my alt right now, so we could probably just put another Titan TV man and max it out. Yeah, the giant dual blade isn't even making it to the secret agent. I'm gonna sell 
sell all my ninja cameramen so that I can put more Titan TV in. And there's the third one maxed out already. Max out another jetpack cameraman. And this is the round with, I don't even remember what's on this round, but we already got most of whatever it is. I also forgot to bring a medic. So yeah, I, I don't know why I brought the Titan cameraman here. Now my alt doesn't even have any camera helicopters down. So we're going to put two of those and max them out. It costs all my money on my alt, but now we have four Titan cameramen running into action to defeat all the toilets. Also, my alt has just maxed out all the TV women. And I got another max jetpack carrying. And this is going really, really good so far. This is the round with a ton of UFOs, though. There are only three, I think, because we did replace one of them with, like, or, you know, that was on a future wave, but we got rid of all three super fast. That's pretty good. Oh, my main finally hit the troop limit. But now I just gotta focus on more Titan TV men on my alt. I'm just gonna save up on my main until I can sell all my scientists and replace them with more jetpack cameramen. I just remembered to max out the secret agent. He only does 200k damage if something gets passed, though, but that will help quite a bit, I guess. Ooh, this is the only wave where things are making it somewhat far. The vacuum toilets are getting kind of passed, just because of the turret spot fighters stunned everything but we're still fine we're getting everything that's getting passed around like right here Ooh, are they gonna reach the secret agent no they aren't they keep stopping right in front of the secret agent but i think i can definitely sell my scientist cameraman now and get four more jetpack cameramen hopefully i have enough but there is one two three and four 10k left over but there's not really much else i can get because literally all i have down is jetpack cameraman two camera helicopters and the secret agent so now it's just up to my alt to get more titan tv men only place i can really put them is up here because like back here won't really do too much all right i'm gonna save up like 50k and then sell my scientist cameraman because titan tv men is the most expensive thing you can upgrade so i'm gonna need a lot before i want to sell my scientists just the tv men and tv women alone are almost destroying the vacuum toilets now on the round with four ufo toilets so see how fast we get them we're on 42 already though and i still haven't really had any problems besides the round with a ton of vacuum toilets Still, nothing is even making it to the secret agent. We only had one thing in the very beginning make it there, but we even got that UFO toilet. Toilet spiders are stunning all the jetpack cameramen again, so they might actually make it past. Yep, they are getting pretty far, but all of them are low. Is he gonna press the button? Is Oh, oh he pressed the button! Toxic Soul Toilet is here on wave 43. Everything that is somewhat fast is already super low. And we even got the helicopters. Now it's just the Toxic Soul Toilet left. And it's already super low, losing health really fast, and we got... It. This is probably like the best we've ever done on Toilet HQ. I just have a massive line of Titan cameramen right here. Let's see if something with high health will spawn soon. Uh oh, there's a flamethrower, and he just took a ton of damage from all those Titans. Bro, we almost already got the first flamethrower before you could even stun anything. Let's go. And we got the second one before the first turn. And there goes the third one. Bro, this is definitely the best strategy you can have. Besides, like, bro, if we had the mech, everything would probably be gone like around. On the right here like the mech cameraman slows things down even more but we're just doing really good my alt has 50k so i think it's time to sell the scientist cameraman and get more tv titans all right we maxed one out maxing another one out and i think i'll put the final two back here because i mean there's not really much else i can do with the current layout but i have 10k left over we're good max units down on both accounts everything is max upgraded this is the farthest we can go we're on wave 46 and nothing is even getting far at all the infected titan speaker man is here and there he goes once again nothing made it past this turn what's really op is that when all the small stuff spawns like this the titan cameraman just all build up here and then when something with the high health comes over they just all run into it and do a ton of damage but now it's wave 47 this is the wave where the stuff gets farthest usually because there's just so many vacuum toilets that, like, unless you have a whole bunch of Titan TV men like I do, they don't really get low, but it looks like they can't even survive the Titan TV men. Wow, that was an easy wave. We're on 48. This one has two UFOs that go to the front, and the second one is already really low. Dual Blades kind of stunned all the jetpack cameramen, which isn't that great. Wave 49, second to last wave. If I could change the strat at all, I'd probably replace a ninja cameraman on my alt with medic. The beginning would be a bit harder because of that. 
that, but if we made it to the end, that'd be a lot easier. And also on my main, I'd replace Titan Cameron with Mech. They also usually get pretty far on this one because everything just gets stunned. Oh, is he gonna press the button on the infected Titan Speaker Man? There we go. 30 second delay though, so he's not gonna be able to press it on these flamethrower guys, but every press of the button is 200k damage. Second flamethrower is gone on this turn and the Toxic Tool Toilet is also gone near this turn. Bro, we're literally on the final wave already and not a single unit has ever made it to this part of the track yet. That is pretty crazy. There's the triple flying jetpack toilet though. And the final boss of the entire game, the glitch toilet. Is anything gonna make it that far? Let's find out. This is legit the final wave. We already got the dual flying buzz saws. Now it's literally just the OP stuff in the back, like the infected Titan speaker man, but we already got it low. It's only at a 100k. We got it. And now the glitch toilet is in the front. How fast can we get the glitch toilet? It still has 1.2 million health. Oh, the giant dual blades are absorbing everything. The glitch toilet will stay kind of behind to attack everything, but once it gets to an open area like this, it goes really fast, which is not good. Hopefully we don't have to like sell and re-put stuff because the glitch toilet is actually making it kind of far. This is a little concerning. The secret agent has pressed the button and um, now the giant dual blade toilet is gone, so next to the flamethrower. The glitch toilet is kind of still having fun back here, stunning everything and then like stunning more stuff when they get unstunned. And the glitch toilet is already dead. Wow. It, it stayed back here for way too long. Now the last thing alive is the toxic skull toilet. 200k, 100k, and we won the match. Literally nothing here got past. That worked way better than I expected, so if you still haven't won that yet, try a strategy like that. If you don't have all those units, use what you have and find someone else that has the rest or at least most of the other things. But we got a lot planned for the next stuff update like a new lobby new maps like not new maps like new difficulties but just a much much better toilet city and desert map so whenever the new episode comes out we're gonna add what's in the new episode plus all of that it's gonna be a massive update thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next video